Hi, I'm John Levy with Peter Bodo for Tennis.com's Quick Hits. Pete, looking back on the women's 2008 season, Yelena Yankovic probably didn't start out as everyone's pick to be number one in the world, but she plays more matches than everyone, she wins a lot of them, and here we are. Hey, listen, playing more matches than anyone else is a very, very big factor these days on a WTA tour. You know, between injuries, between lack of interest, between, you know, between not really caring so much maybe about getting that year in number one ranking, you got to give props to the player who gets out there. And look, look, this girl is a great athlete. She runs like a deer. She's tough. She's got good stamina. She's hurt quite a bit. She plays hurt. So, you know, hats off to her. She, it's, it's a well-earned number, year number one ranking. Now, the other person in this mix is Venus Williams. You know, she finished very, very strong winning that year-end championships for the first time in her career, surprisingly enough. And I think, she's, I think she may be up for a big year in 2009. Maria Sharapova started out 2008 by winning the Australian Open, but then injuries kind of crept up and bit her. There were a group of other Russians, though, that came up and uh, took her spot as the top Russian. Yeah, you know, the Russians seem to come wave after wave. The big stories this year for the Russians were Dinara Safina, who had, you know, from about the French Open onward, from Berlin onward, right before the French Open, she played great, great tennis. She never quite got to that got to that stage where she won a slam, but, you know, she's well positioned for next year. Then you've got Elena Dementieva. You know, she keeps popping up and down. You know, if you had charted her career, you got a lot of spikes and valleys. But, you know, this girl won the Olympic gold. She's, she's a solid competitor. She's she's a great ground stroker. She's going to she's gonna put up some wins next year. And then you had Vera Zvonareva. She's actually, in a sneaky way, one of my favorites out there. She's got a great all-around game. Her big problems really have been mostly emotional and mental, not being able to close a deal, not being able to capitalize on, on, on big leads. But, you know, I think that she may have been transformed this year. She's right up there in the mix, and she's really poised to do well next year. You can't talk about the 2008 women's season without talking about some of the big names that were missing. Yeah, you know, Justine Hennon, you know, she, you know, her career went off a cliff, basically. She up and retired, and that really took everybody by surprise, I think. It kind of started the year on a, on a really down note. Then you have Sharapova's injury. You know, she fell out of the picture. You know, all of a sudden Maria's gone. But, you know, I think the players filled in really well there, and I think for next year you're going to have a healthy Sharapova back. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point, maybe not this year early, maybe later in the year, maybe next year, if Justine Hennon doesn't really have second thoughts about having retired so early. In Maria's absence, one of the players that did step up, although briefly, was Anna Ivanovic. She won her first slam, winning the French Open final. She had gotten to the finals where she lost to Maria in Australia. But then after the uh, French Open, she seemed to fall apart a little bit. What happened? Well, yeah, you know, you hate to say too much too soon, but perhaps, you know, Ivanovic had really was really focused and disciplined. She learned a cardinal lesson here that all, all people who aspire to be top players learn. It's a lot different trying to get someplace than trying to stay someplace. Once she won that French Open title, and then later she got to that number one ranking, all that pressure seemed to come on now. Suddenly she was the one who had the target on her back. She didn't handle it all that well. She also had a couple of injuries in there, to be fair to her. But, you know, it was a real learning experience. So Annie Ivanovich is going to go into next year with a really big learning experience behind her. It would be nice if someone steps up and takes Hennon's spot as the dominant number one. Well, that wraps up Tennis.com's Quick Hits. I'm John Levy with Peter Bodo.